Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. So guys, I have the update notes here, but before I get into that, I've been getting messages, tweets, Discord messages all day about the new pack that's available that can let you search for someone's coordinates. So, I it's not available to me now. It must have been available earlier, and I didn't see it, but I could put a screen, uh, picture of it up. It's basically where you can get someone's coordinates for, I think it's like $5 for the, for the, for the thing. I don't know if it comes with gold or not, or just that. So I'll give you my thoughts on that. So guys, the thing is, is that a lot of the things in Clash of Kings that we don't like happen because of the cheaters and the hackers that basically are providing these things outside of Clash of Kings. So for instance, back in the day, a year, a little over a year ago, probably a year and three months ago when Prestige, the Prestige levels came out. They came out because people were bot farming and selling resources and doing all the illegal stuff. So that made it to where it was costing the game a lot of money. So they had to come out with something to where you couldn't just use a bot farm to farm it all up for you. That's why they first implemented safe resources, if you remember that. Where you any packs that you open in the game doesn't count towards um, plunderable resources. And that's because they were taking advantage of all the events and everything. So basically, that's why all these things happen. So with the new coordinate thing, guys, what's happening is there's a, it's a site, it's in Chinese, so 99% of people don't even know about it, and they sell coordinates to people. So for $5, you can buy someone's coordinates. So I'm hoping that Clash of Kings logic behind selling the coordinate searcher is to basically combat the people that are already doing it illegally. So now they're taking that profit revenue from them. So that way, at least what I'm saying, I guess, is at least everybody now has the ability to look for someone's coordinates. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it's going to cost you money, but at least you have that ability. And maybe they can give them out and have a way that you can earn shards or something to add up and get one. I don't know. But it could be a blessing for a lot of you because hiding isn't really, it's not really even, you, you need the shield. Like, or hide troops. If you're if you're too big to hide troops, then you need to shield. It's just the way the game is. It's just become part of the game. And if you get in a good alliance, you should get enough alliance gifts every single day. I already collected mine, but you should get enough alliance gifts to stay shielded. It's not hard to stay shielded in this game. Just consider it an investment. You're spending the thousand gold a day or 2,500 for three day shields every three days. You're spending that gold to ensure that you don't lose hundreds of thousands of gold worth of troops in progress, okay? So just think of it that way. That's just my take on it. Of course, I'm not a fan of it, guys. I don't know who would be. But like I said, it could be a blessing for a lot of you because you're not safe hiding anyway. Uh, number two, most of us have spies in our alliance anyway. It just it happens. It's hard to combat that. And three, people were already getting home and you didn't even know it. So now at least you know people can get your coordinates. So like I said, it's not really a big deal. But what is a big deal is new update notes, guys. 3.20. I haven't even looked at them yet, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, event, three year anniversary carnival, second wave. During the event, every 10 hours, system time, the world boss, mischievous monkey king, will be summoned on the world map. Kill it to get surprise prizes. So, it's going to be like the dragons, it's going to spawn out here like a monster, and you're going to attack it and get prizes. There may be mischievous baby monkeys on the world map. Kill them to get three year anniversary seals. Use the three-year anniversary seal to redeem rewards in the event center annual store. Okay. Explore the ruins. On the world map, you have a chance to get rich rewards. Moreover, Dragon King chest with the dragon items are awaiting you. Okay, so you guys know what the ruins are. They, they spawn around the map. They're really a good place to hide troops. But it appears that you have a chance to get rewards now, like good rewards, because before it gave you hardly anything, so it appears that they're going to let you get rewards from them now. That's cool. Note, the expiration time of small cakes and painting shards will be prolonged to the 31st of October. Please use them in time. So guys, if you have any of these, I don't know if I have them any now. Oh, I got this chest and I couldn't find it. Let me see it. Eh, five, five, eight hour speed ups for a dollar. Not too bad at all. I need to use these sieve things. Let me go ahead and get into the next one here. Hero system update. This I thought was pretty, pretty, pretty neat. So it's called adding the hero wheel. So 
you get a huge amount of hero XP and shards. You can, it's basically going to be like, I'm guessing like the lucky wheel, back to the wheel, where you can spin it and you can land on different things for your heroes. Shards, experience, stuff like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. Added the hero star upgrade feature. I'm not sure what that is, and it doesn't give much of an explanation here. Thornflower and HR officer can be upgraded to the star level. So let's go to heroes. Thornflower and the HR officer. So I believe that Sama and the HR officer. Is it Jared? I I forget which which one is the HR officer, or is it Joseph? I forget, guys. But. You're going to be able to upgrade them to star level. The course, corresponding hero shards to upgrade your hero's star level. Each star will unlock a new skill. So you can unlock new skills for your heroes. That's, that's good. Added upgradable hero skills. Use the corresponding hero shards to upgrade the exclusive skills. It will be greatly enhanced. So you guys already know what that is. You can basically... You can, you can upgrade the skills and everything. Um, there's the attributes and everything. And I think it's going to be adding upgradable hero skills so that's going to be cool so you're going to be able to upgrade the the skills as well new rules for the battle of the throne i think this is the most important part of the update as far as like strategically and in battle so let's go to the throne while we talk about it the throne battle rule will change to the following rules when the strongest kingdom event begins within 24 hours if an alliance can occupy the throne continuously for eight hours, then the alliance will win the throne directly. That's obvious. That's how it's always been. Within 24 hours, if an alliance can occupy the throne for a total of 12 hours, then this alliance will win the throne directly. So, basically, in a 24-hour period, if you, like, say you control the throne for seven hours, and then the uh, enemy team comes and resets it, and then recalls, and then goes to bed for seven more hours and then tries to hit again that's not going to work anymore because if you control it for 12 hours so if you control it for seven and then you got hit you would just need to control it for five more then you are the winner within 24 hours if no alliance can accomplish the requirements of one or two which is hold it for eight hours continuously or hold it for a total of 12 then the alliance which has the larger accumulative occupying time will win the throne so Basically, the only way I can see number three happening is if there's like three alliances involved. Because say they each hold it for 11 hours, that's going to go to 22. Within those last two hours, someone has to hold it longer than the other one. So, unless no one went for it at the beginning. But, yeah, that's that's just probably going to be if like another alliance comes and hits and takes it. So, you know, that would be cool to see a three three alliance throne war, but I've never heard of it others increase the maximum lord level to 60 wow wonder if they're gonna be coming out with new equipment so right now i thought the lord level max is 53 or 55 they're adding it to 60 now new quests for civilization popularity heroes and dragons have been added so there's gonna be new quests you are able to use buff items by clicking the buff button in the marching interface so Here's the marching interface. You'll now be able to set your buffs in the marching interface. That's going to be very convenient. I'm guessing they're going to put it at the top here somewhere. I'm definitely a fan. I think they could add even more than just buffs. I think they could add skills in the marching interface as well. What do you guys think? Uh, we have all this room up here where the picture of the horse and the guy on the horse and the battle going on. There's a lot of room there to add all of your different skills and everything. So that would be the best place to put it rather than, you know, down here where you have to do this. And then get into your battle you can just go to do your battle and if you want to do a skill hit just click the skill and then you you won't ever forget things you know what i mean so that i think that's a one step in the right direction new technology military five will be available soon after researching it your troops attack defense and hp will be strengthened again the training speed march speed and max march size will also be increased at the same time this will greatly help you while doing attacks. So we've got new military science coming in. Hopefully it's not too unachievable. I'm not sure if it'll cost research stones or not. But basically in the college, you can see these extra spots down here. 
there will be new there will be a new military five down there so you're gonna have to go ahead and upgrade that if you want to keep up with your you know max attacks and everything i'm only going to be able to do some of it but a lot of people finish all their science and everything so good on you new technology city defense 3 will be available soon after researching it attack and defense while defending and trap capacity will be increased you can kill more enemies when defending battles so guys this is actually a really good i mean that's the wrong one city defense right here it says they're going to do city defense defense three so you can see defense two and defense one they're actually really important and yeah i need to start researching and finishing that off because you should have number two done because look you can increase your defender's defense and you can increase your defender attack so everybody should have those done obviously i just got this castle all my, all my old castles i had both of those done but a lot of people don't know how important they are so it's a good thing i checked that but that is it for updates 3.20 if you guys have any questions or concerns let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching tomorrow you smash that thumbs up button i'll see you guys later on i'm doing a dragon campaign world cup strategy video i think a lot of you will like it all right guys peace